Hi boys and girls, it's a new number of the week and the number of the week comes after the number 17 because we learnt 17 last week. So do you know what number comes after 17? A clue, you can hear the seven. Let's count and I'm going to hold up the number when we get to the right number. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Did you say eighteen? Did you? If you said eighteen, you're right. There's an eighteen. It's a one and an eight. A one and an eight is eighteen. So let's practice writing the number 18 before we do the worksheet. You know how to do the number one because the number one is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's just a big line down, isn't it? So let's do the one, easy peasy. The number eight is a little bit trickier because there are quite a few curves in an eight, aren't there? There are quite a few curves. So when we write the eight, an 18, the 8 goes right next to the number 1, as you can see up here. So we start our 8 at the top, 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 just like we start all our letters and all our numbers at the top. And we need to start at the top and we need to do a little curve like a magic C. So do a little curve like a magic C. And we make that magic C into an S. And we know how to do an S because we've done them before, right? We make it into an S. And then we bring it right back round, crossing in the middle, right back up to the top, 18. A one and an eight is 18, it's tricky. Let me do that eight again for you. So you start at the top, you do a little curve, you make it into an S. Can you see my S? There's the S. And then you go right back up, cross in the middle, right back up to the top. There's the eight. And of course we need to have a one in the front, don't we? Two 18s. So let's do our 18 worksheet. Let me put that down to the side. Okay, so here's my 18 worksheet. And if you don't have yours in front of you, just watch me because you can uh, do the one that mum and dad print off for you because you have one in their emails. So let's do that number 18, shall we? We know how to do it because we just practiced. The number one is a big line down, easy peasy. And then the number eight, we start over here. We start with a magic C. And then we make it into an S. There's the S, you see it? And then we go right back up, cross over to the top again. There's the eight. And you can see I have done lowercase e's in this box. You can use stickers, you can do any kind of shape, any kind of um, mark that you want to make. But I did lowercase e's. It's good practice because we use e's a lot when we're writing. Remember, a lowercase e is a little line along then you curve up, touch that little line as you go around. You see that? Little line along, curve up, touch the little line and come around. It's a curly E. Let's make sure I've got 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I got it. Okay. So let's use those detective eyes and let's see whether or not we can find the 18s in this hiding up in this bunch of numbers. Oh look, straight away, before we even hardly look, there's a one and an eight, so that must be an 18. So let's circle. Next to it, oh we know this is our friend, right? With the long legs, legs 11. So nope, we don't need legs 11. And what do you think this one is? This is the one we just learned, you're right, 17, so we don't need 17, and one and a seven is 17, you can hear it. And here's our friend, a one and an eight, 18, you can hear the eight in there, 18, let's circle. And what about this one next to the 18? Hmm, a one and a four, 14, if you said 14, you're right, but we don't need it, so exit out. What about this one, a one and a two, Hmm, it's a kind of a tricky one. 12, 12, so no, we don't need 12. Exit out. Oh, here we go again, a one and an eight in 
18, here are the eight in there, 18, so let's circle. A one and a three, hmm. Now that's the tricky one, it's not three teen, is it? Th, three and th, 13, 13, but we don't need 13, so let's X out 13 if you've got that, good job, that's a tricky one. Hmm, what about this one? A one and a six, hmm, we know this one, we just learnt it, didn't we? A couple of weeks ago, one and a six, 16, did you say it? Good job, we don't need 16 though. Oh, and look, a one and an eight, 18, you can hear the eight in there, 18, let's give 18 a circle. So let's count how many we found with our detective eyes. One, two, three, four, four eighteens. Great detective work. Okay, now let's move down here. I have in my 10 frames, shapes. You can see the shapes. Yesterday when we did Mr. and Mrs. Egghead, we drew an oval. So there's an oval and I use this shape for their noses. Can you remember that shape? It's got three sides, three points. It's a triangle. I did my pattern of ovals and triangles. So let's see, let's make sure that I got 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, in our 10 frame. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, so I got it right. 18, 18, and my pattern is oval, triangle, oval, triangle, oval, triangle, all the way along. Oh, no, it's not, Mrs. Hamilton, look. Oval, triangle, oval, triangle, oval, oval. Hmm, tricky. Tri triangle, oval, triangle, oval, oval. Yeah. Triangle, oval, triangle, oval, oval. Triangle, oval. That was a tricky pattern. Oh my goodness me. You, you spotted it just as I did. Okay, so now let's look next door and we have to colour in these leaves, don't we? And we, I coloured them in orange and green because that's what colour leaves are. And let's have a look at the pattern here. And last week there was a tricky one in there, wasn't there, with the pattern? There was a tricky one in there in the 10 frames. Let's see if there's a tricky one in the pattern of the, uh, the objects we're colouring in. Let's see. Orange, orange, green, green. Orange, orange, green, green. Orange, orange, green, green. Orange, orange, green, green. Orange, orange. So the pattern is there. Let's make sure that I did 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, I got it. So you guys know what to do. I've already done it. You can do your own patterns and you can do your own coloring. Just make sure there are 18. And on the back, we know what to do, don't we? We need to do five number 18s. And it's gonna be a little tricky with those eights. A one and a, make that S and curl it right back home. And an eight, one, Make the S and curl it right back to home. Two, make the one and then make the S and then curl it right back home. That's three. Make the one, make the S, curve it right back home. That's four. One more, right? Five. One, make the S so they're eight and bring it right back home. Eighteen. So good job, boys and girls. Five eighteens. Excellent, excellent work. So practice those eighteens and I am going to see you again very soon. Bye.